Hello guys, what's on going on? Groom Creeper 007 here, and welcome to episode 3 of my Kerbal Space Program. This episode, we are again going to try getting into orbit. So, let's see how it goes. Um, this rocket will be a bit like the one I had last episode, though it will be revised a bit in the sense that I don't have lander legs anymore because they're useless. I always crash land over the ocean anyways. So they're pretty useless. It's only if you want to land on Mars or Moon or Min Miss or Duna or whatever that you put lander legs. Or if you just plan to make a Kerbin rocket. Which is not my point here today. Today I am going to get into orbit. So I'm going to make this top module with a Poodle, uh, no not a Poodle engine, an FT-101 engine and an FTL-400 fuel tank with a s advanced SAS module and a Mark I cockpit. Then I'll put a decoupler and an FTL-800, or two FTL-800s, no wait, one FTL-800 and then I put an engine. Okay, I'm a bit in advance of my thing here, so let's patiently wait. But yeah, I've been uh, going great lately. So yeah, this is about when I realize that I'm going to put my second engine under my first FTL 800 so I'm, I'm just full of bright ideas like that but all in all my rockets and space planes are not the best I have to admit they do not work the best although they do get the job done and that's what I like However, in later episodes when I will be making a space station, I'm all going to make it in one piece and then just send it up. Because docking in space is going to be really hard for me. So unless you guys can, like, I don't know, private message me a tutorial or something on how to do it easily, I guess I'm going to have to build it all in one go and send it in one go. So yeah. And by the way, always put co nose cones on your fuel tanks so that it's more aerodynamic. I don't know if aerodynamics actually there is aerodynamism in this game, but I I'd say yeah probably because it's a pretty realistic game. Even though I should get the uh, physics mod, which would make it even better. But I don't have it, so I'll have to go without for now. There you go, that is my complete rocket. It's got three stages, and it's got three decoupling, uh, two decouplings, or well, three if you count the radial decouplings, and it's going to be called Orbit or Bust 2. Because you never know, I might get into orbit, I might not. So, here we go. I save, 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 save. And here we are on the launch pad. Calzone Kerman is going into space. Let's just hope he doesn't end up like Kidlin, his buddy.
go to here? If you're still at school, take astronomy. If you're not, just go on Google. It's the fastest way to learn. It's the fastest way to learn astronomy. So, decoupling. And uh, sometimes, if you have like too much parts, and like you decouple, but these your engines are still on or whatever, then you might hit your spacecraft. So the trick is to let your engines die down, let yourself lose a bit of speed, decouple, and then fire off so that you don't hit anything. Because if you hit something and you blow up, it's not fun. I mean, not that it's ever happened to me. Because I have only successfully sent two into orbit, but these were for tests, and I yet to have one on camera. So yeah, I am. Uh, Calzone is approaching orbit. Slowly but surely. Okay, I really do apologize. I forgot to start filming again, but my spaceship is in orbit. So I do apologize that I forgot because it was long. It was quite long. It took five minutes. And, I don't know, it was really boring, so I apologize I didn't start filming. I'm now in orbit with Calzone Kerman. So, yes, the next orbits I will continue filming and just cut at need, but... Yeah. So yeah, I'm just minimized now, you cannot see my spaceship anymore to see how big we are compared to the Earth and the universe. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. This was Grim Creeper 007. And if I did anything wrong, or if you guys would like to tell me something, leave it in the comments section below. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode.